Whose was it? He who is gone. Who shall have it? He who will come. Where was the sun? Over the oak. Where was the shadow? Under the elm. How was it stepped? North by ten, east by five, south by two and by two, west by one and by one, and so under. What shall we give for it? All that is ours. Why should we give it? For the sake of trust. That is what you will find when you read Sherlock Holmes' The Musgrave Ritual, written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Quote, Never have I felt such a cold chill of disappointment, Watson. Mr. Brunton, the butler of Reginald Musgrave, was sneaking around where he shouldn't have been, reading a secret family document in the library, in the middle of the night, and then he vanished. The housemaid, Rachel Howells, of Reginald Musgrave, was missing her beloved Mr. Brunton. Struck with craziness, she also vanished. Vanishing servants. A riddle, a family ritual. Can Sherlock Holmes find the missing piece? You will have to read it to find out. Unlike other Sherlock Holmes stories, this story is told from the viewpoint of Mr. Sherlock Holmes himself, rather than the viewpoint of Dr. Watson. Just take a look at this review written by Miss Morgan, a teacher. Only true detectives can read this book. After you read this book, you will be able to compare and contrast two or more characters, settings, or events in a story or drama drawing on specific details in the text. Example, how characters interact. Sherlock Holmes, Brunton the Butler, Reginald Musgrave, Dr. Watson, Rachel Howells, the maid. You will also determine the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in a text, including figurative language, such as metaphors and similes. Pray let me have the details. It's rather absurd. High-nosed and large-eyed. Lastly, when you read this book, you will be able to describe how a narrator's or speaker's point of view influences how events are described. Not only is there this amazing story, there are many Sherlock Holmes adventures included, such as the Adventures of the Speckled Band, The Adventures of the Blue Carbuncle, The Red Gate Puzzle, Silver Blaze. But wait, there's more. Why read Sherlock Holmes, you ask me? Sherlock Holmes is the best because, number one, it is classic. Number two, it is mind-bending. Number three, it gives you the chance to be a reading detective. Are you up for this thrilling challenge? We'll wait and see.